Go ahead and introduce yourself. Tell us where you're from. How's it going? I'm Jake Kilmer. I play the drums for Smile Empty Soul. I'm from Los Angeles, California. All right, your last, your latest album is titled Chemicals. What's your favorite song off of it, and why? Son of. Uh, darn. Well, I love the song uh, title track because it's got a lot of cool Tom work in it. It's probably one of my favorite ones. It's their new single right now, but uh, they're all badass. Swim's a badass song. They're all too badass. You gotta listen to them all. <laughs> You guys have been around for over a decade, yep. long time. What's your favorite tour memory you've made? Or top favorites, or whatever you want to do? Well, I guess, uh, let's see if we can the files here. Yeah. Uh, story files, uh, well, I just told another one in an interview, but I won't tell that one, we'll switch this one, but, uh, one time, <laughs> my favorite, my favorite uh, thing that ever happened to me on tour was uh, I was at a huge festival in St. Louis, Missouri. It's Point Fest, and uh, we already we already played whatever this and that. I think it was uh, not Guns N' Roses, but was it with uh, Stone Temple Pilots guy in collaboration. Of, uh, the Velvet Revolver. The Velvet Revolver. Yeah, yeah. So they were. I think they were the headliners that night. Uh, so I, I was trying to. to I'm a huge Stone Temple Pilots fan, I think our whole band is, but I tried to go up, I tried to knock on the their door, the singer's door, to give him a, a vulture CD at the time, or whatever. But some lady answered, so, like an assistant or whatever, just took it, probably trashed it. Whatever. That's not the point. The point was that I'm walking back to the bus, I'm saying, eh, whatever, yeah, go back to the bus. Um, I see a drummer uh, for Guns N' Roses and for Velvet Really hot day. It was <laughs> hot for me. Long day. Tired. Exhausting. Uh, not Chad Sexton. Sick drummer. The guy's name. <laughs> Chad Sexton's good though. 311. Yeah. Chad Sexton. <laughs> Gosh darn. I can't remember. Anyway. Anyhow. <laughs> Guns N' Roses drummer. That's all I needed to know. Yeah. But he played for Golf Revolver. So I go over to him and I was like, because uh, we were on the same uh, booking agent, right? So TKO. It doesn't mean shit, but I was like, Hey man, what's going on? I was like, here, I just gave him another CD I had. I was like, here, this, we're just on your same booking agent, just, whatever. Do whatever you want, man. I don't care, you know, but I had to give it to him. But take it, yeah. I gave it to him, he's all, oh, sweet man, he's all, he turns around, he had a full bottle of Patron, he goes, we're not that big, you know, but he's like, hey man, where's your bus? You drink? I'm like, out of here, let's go. And so we go, I walk up the bus, and, uh, his name's going to come to my mind for the story's over. The drummer of Guns N' Roses. <laughs> That's we awesome. On the bus and we get, get on the bus and uh, we get on the bus and there's a huge part, raging party and we were drinking, smoking each other and, like, <laughs> and then all of a sudden I walk in there and I'm like, hey look who I brought and then the whole bus like shuts down like, <laughs> hey, Nick something. He's <laughs> <laughs> a badass drummer from Guns N' Roses. Anyways, he just pulls out the drone and he's like, yeah, so it just, he's a classic boy, you know, he was, he was very generous and uh, we talked to him. Very rock star. And, uh, I didn't bug him or anything like that, but that was just a classic moment that he won't know who the hell I am or this and that, but whatever, you know, it was a great musician, uh, musician thing, you know, I did, uh, I think he was a good drummer, so. That's awesome. Of course, this Tony Bastard was why I can't remember his name. <laughs> Forgive me if you're watching this. <laughs> Alright, you guys formed Two Disciples Entertainment for this last record. We did. Didn't you form your record label? What was that? Your record label, you made it for this past... Yeah, record. we did. Yeah. Um, what, what's it like to be your own bosses? Well, it's a lot more work, but, but we're just, we're just we kind of know what, uh, where things are going and we have our own game plan. So I think for us, you know, we were lucky to have the big push that we did in the early 2000s and to, to be able to keep touring and we have our little cult following and we just do what we do. And I think that we're able to utilize what we've already built right. and just uh, keep it solid and keep adding to it. So this, we just go, we've always gone one record at a time. That's what we'll always do. How did you come up with the label name? I wasn't actually part of it. No, I wasn't uh, part of the label name. It's more of our uh, investor and stuff like that. 
Okay. Um, what are you most excited for on the upcoming civil unrest tour? You like long drives? <laughs> no, no. no I'm, uh, I'm just looking forward to playing with a nice group of national act bands. Uh, so I'm very looking forward to that because it's, like, it's good to be with your peers and that. And I'm looking forward to checking those groups out every night. Working my ass off late every night. What's your favorite thing about being a drummer? It's arm day every day. I'm not workout dudes, <laughs> but if I do go home and try and work out, I mean, I'm sure there's workouts that you can do to mimic playing the drums. But like, it's not the same. You have to kind of just be going for this for yeah. an hour, you know, and like deep breathing and going for it and uh, working your muscles. So it's fun, you know. It's, What's your least favorite part? Do you have a least favorite part? Drums? Yeah. I mean, you can also not have one. You should zoom in on this part. It's like, what's the least favorite part? Well, probably the fact that you gotta sit in the back the whole time. But that's also a good thing. Because <laughs> you kind of can just be back there and just focus and uh, do your thing. But uh, sometimes you, I feel like I want to get up and sit or stretch out or something like that. But, this is, this is the rigs and uh, this is the drums and it's awesome playing the drums and you should play the drums. You guys came out to the East Coast, you're from the West Coast, you came to the East Coast about two weeks before your tour yep. for this show. Uh-huh. Any specific reason or just wait, because... Wait, wait, what'd you say? You came specifically, basically for Rockville. Yeah, we flew out here. Why? Did you like make the trip I out know. just for... Because <laughs> <laughs> it was a badass festival and we wanted to... Uh, wanted to be a part of it. Uh, we were supposed to uh, go on like an early spring run and route out here and then continue on, but uh, it didn't work out that way, so we flew out here, so we sit like this, like, we're gonna go to Rockville, man, you know, stuff like that, playing. What are you most excited for here? I'm looking forward to, uh, I wanted to see Motorhead. any bands that I can as soon as I'm done doing interviews. <laughs> but it, it's cool, it's cool hearing right now that actually Hell Yeah is playing right now, I think. Uh, it sounds pretty good from right here. Cheers to them. But uh, Avenge Sevenfold, that'll be tight. Uh, Cole, I want to catch them. And uh, definitely want to see Chevelle. And, uh, I have time to do that because I'll be done by eight. Nice. <laughs> do you have any guilty pleasure artists? I probably, I probably have. Do you have lots of them? Of them. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's have them. Well, uh, I, I like the B-52s quite a bit. They're kind of, they're totally not really hard rock, but and they're very like weird, quirky. Yeah, they are. I think they have, they had uh, unique songs and stuff like that. So that's, I like songs and stuff like that. Some, some people might not hear the songs in those weird quirkiness, but I hear them. I like them. But I like how they have. Uh, I how they're almost all gay or something like that too. Almost all of them are gay, so that's badass too. Uh, because there's uh, the two singers, the girl singers are do great together, and then the one guy singer, it's like the one weird guy singer, he wouldn't be anything without the other two, <laughs> without the other two girl singers, you know? Right. And the girl singers wouldn't be that much without this weird guy. Yeah, they all need so. each other. <laughs> yeah, so I, I like that. that. I like the band thing, and uh, I also like uh, like the British artist La Rue and stuff like that. She's she's good stuff. I mean, I don't blast her stuff every day. I'm not gonna go listen to her right now, but you know. Sure. <laughs> okay. <laughs> any last any last words for your fans? Yeah. Anything you want to say? Thanks for listening to Small to Soul. Thanks for supporting, and uh, check out our new album. And go to our .com site or whatever, check out whatever you need.